beginning October 1st, millions of Americans will be enrolling in health care insurance plans offered under President Obama's Affordable Care Act. As the date quickly approaches, the Obama administration says they are ready, but Republicans and other critics say they are not and point to setbacks and other delays in implementation. Susan Jaffe writes about health care policy for The Lancet, and she joins me here in Washington. Welcome, Susan. Hi. So first, tell us briefly, what is the Affordable Care Act? What does it do? Well, Katie, the reason why um, this is known as uh, Barack Obama's landmark achievement in almost two presidencies in the White House is that this is really an, an enormous change in, in the way health insurance works in this country. For the first time, insurance companies are not going to be uh, able to discriminate against women by charging them more than men, by turning away uh, people with uh, pre-existing health conditions. It's going to expand coverage to almost 30 million people who otherwise have been uninsured for years. What are Republicans and other critics saying about the plan? Why are they so concerned? Well, the latest criticism is basically that the Obama administration is delaying uh, enforcement of some key provisions of the law. It's kind of ironic, though, that this criticism is coming from inside the really the Republican Party, which has never really been in favor of this law. 26 states with mostly Republican governors um, sued, uh, went to the Supreme Court to overturn the law, and now they seem to be saying that implementation isn't happening fast enough. We're not going to be ready when they don't even want the Affordable Care Act to take effect in the first place. How is the Obama administration reacting to the criticisms that they're hearing? They're trying to really say that these uh, changes are really going to have a very minimal effect in reality. There, there's, uh, They have said they want to delay for one year the requirement that large employers with more than 50 employees uh, provide health insurance to their workers. They're saying this really isn't um, that important because something like 95 percent of large employers in this country already provide insurance to their employees. President Obama recently said that this kind of routine modifications or tweaks to a large program that's uh, starting off in a normal political atmosphere it would just draw a yawn from everybody. He's really downplaying it. So you've talked about the lawmakers and the political positions, but what does the average American think about Obamacare? They're not thinking very much, apparently. According to the polls, something like around 40% polled said they didn't know that the law was still in effect. They thought that it had been repealed. About 50% of those at polled uh, who did know about it said they didn't understand how it would affect them. For so many people to misunderstand what's happening starting October 1st is really creates a very significant hurdle for this administration. It'll be interesting to follow the developments in the coming weeks and months. Susan Jaffe writes for The Lancet. Thank you for joining us here in Washington. Thank you.